analysts have been nudged to take advantage of the use of artificial intelligence to advance and promote inclusivity in access to information. This message was handed down by the U.S. Consul General Will Stevens in Lagos, Nigeria. Our correspondent Paul George has more. It's faster to get a piece of data, a piece of data, data from Lagos to uh, Taiwan. The main content and personalized content interchangeably. We're showing you content that we think that you will be interested in. Seated here are journalists from different media houses, numbering about 25 across Nigeria. They have come to acquire more knowledge on the use of artificial intelligence. In his remarks at the opening of the three-day session, the U.S. Consul General Will Stevens says the training will help Nigerian journalists to be better equipped and catch up with the rest of the world in their reportage. As artificial intelligence continues to explode around the world, it's impacting both journalism, but also public policy and a variety of interests in every sector. So as Nigeria's journalists become better equipped to report on this uh, phenomenon, they'll become better equipped to help us here in Nigeria and around the world understand it and explain it to Nigeria's citizenry. It's, a, it's one more way that the U.S. mission is trying to support Nigeria's democracy as we support journalists who play such a critical role in democracies around the world. Head of the Business Development Office, U.S. Agency for Global Media, which runs Voice of America, John Moore praised the advancement of AI, but advised journalists to be cautious when using AI, saying that it can create problems for the user when it's not properly utilized. It has great opportunities and great risks. Um, it can help you do your jobs, but you need to be on the lookout for problems and mistakes. Most of the information being fed into AI is from the West. You're often getting a very uh, a poor picture or no picture at all of underdeveloped, or I don't want to say underdeveloped, but developing countries like Nigeria, which are the future of the world. The problem with AI, it's not reflecting what's happening in places like Niger Nigeria, in my opinion. Some of the journalists who participated in the training expressed delight in the workshop. They said the buck still stops on the desk of the editor. Well, we have learned that um, as awesome or rather as scary as AI might be, it is actually a very helpful tool, a tool that if we know how, if we understand um, and learn how to use it, we can even use it ethically. It could help us achieve even more as uh, journalists, yes. Humans have a very significant or the most significant roles to play with regards to the use of AI in journalism. We have to make sure everything is balanced because we are trained as journalists. The AI isn't. It's just there to give us based on the prompts we give. So that's basically the most salient point from this seminar, this program. As Nigeria is still classified among the third world country, journalists... Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.